What's up guys, this be Jimmy here and welcome to a late night video. I'm glad that you guys came by because you know the only people that come to these late night videos are active peeps. So drop a like if you're an active subscriber and today I'm doing a little bit of a story video and I'm trying to get 10,000 likes on this story and if we can I will keep on doing these every other time. I like to do these on special occasions, especially because we're about to hit 500,000 subscribers. It's it's a big mile marker. Honestly, it's huge and I can't thank, you know, you guys enough. I try my best to thank you with, you know, shark cards and shit like that, giving gift cards away every DLC. I try to help you guys and I just want to let you know I love you and you have been with me every step of the way whoever's watching this so thank you guys so much and let's do this for 500,000 subscribers 10,000 likes on this video and I also want to let you guys know that like I just thought this was gonna be just a something special video that's what I like doing so this is my first girlfriend. I'm going to be talking about my first girlfriend. A few people have asked me this, actually. I really don't get into my social life too much, but I like to tell stories of my life and kind of maybe even relate to some of you guys. So I've had girlfriend. I mean, this is in middle school, but I've had girlfriends before. This is I don't really look at girlfriends in elementary school as in like real girlfriends. Oh, fucking hell. Who the fuck shooting me? Look at this scumbag. But anyways, in elementary school, I don't look at that as girlfriends. I had these little flings here and there. I mean, it was nothing really. And then when I went to middle school, it was like, I don't know, the second week in middle school. I saw this girl in my drama class and I don't know, man. She was like, she's pretty cute, to be honest. Um, I found her really attractive and I was just like, yo, I got to get with that, you know? And I've already made friends. I'm, a, I'm an easy person to make him friends, so... You know, I just want to let you guys know I haven't tried anything yet. I was only like, I don't know what, like 12? I don't know, 13 maybe? I think I was like 13. I don't know, man. I'm a little off here. I think I was 11 or 12. I'm not too sure. It was 6th grade. And um, honestly, I don't think I was 12, man. I'm confused. Anyways, I was around. I was around there. All right. So anyways, I haven't tried anything with a girl. And... I haven't really had a serious girlfriend at the time, so I'm like very awkward in this situation. I, I want to say first off, this this dating thing was so weird at first. I mean, I dated her for like a month, and that one month, we never talked. We were just dating. Yes, the weirdest relationship you could ever imagine. We would just look at each other in class and just not do anything. I think we both didn't really know what to do. But I guess after like a month, you know, I talked to her friends to tell her stuff and then she would talk to my friends for them to tell me shit. But I was like, this is getting annoying. So I went up to her and I hugged her and it was honestly my my, my heart dropped because I, I felt like I was in love with this girl. I want to let you guys know that this relationship lasted about two years, uh, actually my whole time in middle school. Yeah, fucked it up. I mean, I, that's how I feel with everything like middle school and high school. Like, I've always had relationships where I feel like they just suck up the whole fucking high school experience. Anyways, like, you know, I hug her and then I'm just like, yo, this is awesome, you know? But we still do that non-talkative thing. I mean, we talk sometimes. But it came to a point, like, when we were dating for, like, four months, I finally decided, you know, I'm a kisser. And that was a pretty good step. But then after that, you know, a few weeks later, we started talking a lot. We started, you know, I guess communicating more. Um... I guess I'd see her in the hallways, but it was so awkward. It's like both of us wanted that person to come up to us. I don't know if that's like with you guys, if you guys are in relationships, um, if that has ever happened to you. You know, you just want the girl to come up to you or the girl wants or, you know, if you're a girl, you want the guy to come up to you. And honestly, we were both playing hard to get, I guess. And this relationship, I guess, lasted pretty long. Yeah. So where was I? Oh, yeah. She basically turn the relationship into a hassle it was a breakup and kind of on and off thing every single day like we would get into little bicker fights if she didn't talk to me in the hallway or she didn't sit with me at lunch oh god that was never a thing i never sat with her at lunch but um it was a weird relationship guys and it was literally for two years straight just on and off days 
But man, oh man, it put me through so many phases. I was just like, fuck relationships after that. I mean, the only way it ended is because I moved. I moved and it was like, it was a huge change, but I'm so glad it happened. Because honestly, if I never moved, I probably wouldn't be a YouTuber. I probably wouldn't be doing YouTube right now. If I moved, I, I, I would probably, I don't know what I would be doing. I'd probably still be in my old school, going to the old high school, and just doing that. But I enjoy online, and I, I enjoy doing it all at home. Like, I like that. But this girl was literally a suction. Like, she would, or, like, this girl was literally, like, a tension whore. Like, she would just be a dickhead. Like, at all times, it was, it was either I did something wrong or, you know, she did something wrong. And honestly... This was my worst experience having a girlfriend, but it was my first serious experience. And would I take it back? No. Um, why wouldn't I take it back? Just because who would who knows what would have happened if I didn't date that girl for that long and didn't find out how girls really are and honestly go through all that. Like I'm actually glad I went through that. And I mean, like I said, I've had multiple like girlfriends in high school as well, like after that. But it was it was never the same because I was going after the wrong girls. When I went to high school, I was going after girls that were already taken and I was fucking with with oh dude, I don't even want to get into it. I was a dickhead. But I hope you guys enjoyed this story. This is a story on my first girlfriend, and honestly, do you have a similar story to that? And if you have a story with your girlfriend, you know, maybe drop it down in the comments. Like, your first girlfriend. And how was she? Was she, like, the same, like, in the same situation? I don't know. We were young, so you can't really, really, um, judge that at that point. But, yeah, my friend told me the other day, because, uh, you know, I don't live down where they still live. And my friend told me that was, like, best friends with her. She's, like, a train wreck now, like... Ever since we broke up or I left, she just never dated anyone. And I'm just like thin here. What the fuck did I fuck up? With a, what the hell? I really hope I didn't. But, man, I got that got me thinking now. What the fuck? Yeah, man, she just, she just let herself go, I guess. I'm not going to explain too much, but I hope you guys enjoyed. I don't know what that pink car was doing back there. That was my story on my first girlfriend. Drop a like if you enjoyed. 10,000 likes is our goal, and if you guys want more of these videos, yeah, just let's hit 10,000 likes, and that will let me know you guys want more stories, and thank you guys again for 500k subscribers. We are so close to the point. I think you guys already know.